I'm Dinda Mutira Nova. My student's number is 19212208. Yeah, in this video, I will give you like a tutorial on how I solve or find the answers from the measures of central tendency and the measures of variability. But before we start, I want to tell you something in advance that on the measures of central tendency, they are mean, median, and mode. Meanwhile, on the measures of variability, they are range, quartiles, interquartile range, and then variances, and standard deviation, and the last one is polygons. Yeah, and then in finding or solving the answers, we can use three method, which is manual, and then using uh, Microsoft Excel and SPSS. Yeah, so here, I choose the method using Microsoft Excel because it is very easy and fast. So yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing that you must do is open your data. Yeah, this one. Wait. Yeah. And then, uh, so open uh, a new document in Microsoft Excel. Yeah. So, yeah, after that, input the data from your uh, Microsoft Word. Yeah, this data, this one, into Microsoft Excel. This, for example, yeah, yeah. So and etc. So um, I will skip this part. So yeah. All right, I'm back. So after all of the data has been inputted into Microsoft Excel, sort the data from smallest to largest. So this is the data that I have sorted. So yeah, you can follow me. Yeah, the first one, you block the data and then click this button, sort and filter, and then click sort smallest to largest. Yeah, okay. All right, after that, we can start looking for answer to the measures of central tendency and measures of variability. Um, why is using Microsoft Excel so easy? Um, yeah, because the find the mean, median, mode, quartiles, variances, and standard deviation, we only need to enter the, the Excel formula. Type the opening bracket, block the data, type the closing brackets, and then click enter. After that, the result will automatically appear. So it's very easy. Okay, first, let's start with measures of central tendency. Yeah. So we will find the mean. Okay. So yeah. Uh, to find the mean, we will use the formula Excel uh, equal symbol equal symbol. I mean type equal symbol, and then type average average. Yeah, and then type uh, the opening brackets, brackets, I mean, and then block the data. Yeah, and then type the um, closing brackets, and then click enter. So yeah, this is the result of mean. Next, median. For median, we use uh, the formula type equal symbol and then uh, type median like this and then type the opening brackets and then block the data and type the, uh, the closing brackets and then click enter. So yeah, this is the median of this data. Next, mode. Okay, for mode, use the formula um, 
type m o t e and then opening brackets and then block the data and close in brackets and enter so yeah this is the result of mode okay next so this is this is uh, the measures of central tendency next we will uh, looking the answers from the measures of variability the first one range okay so uh, it's a little different from the previous one for range we type equal sim symbol so we uh, calculate range uh, manually so type uh, equal symbol and then click the largest value i mean block yeah this one yeah I forgot, wait, yeah. And then type or click uh, the minus symbol and then block the smallest value, this one. And then closing brackets and then click enter. Yeah, so this is the range from the data, of the data. Next, we will uh, find or search the quartiles. So uh, quartiles, there are quartile one, quartile two, and then quartiles three. So yeah, the first one, quartile one. Yeah, so um, uh, the method is also a little different from the previous one, but only slightly. So we type the formula equal symbol and then type quartile and then opening brackets and then load the data at comma and then Click number one and then plus bracket, brackets, I mean, and enter. Yeah, so this is uh, it's quartile one from this data. Next, uh, quartile two, I mean, quartile two. Yeah, so for quartile two and three, do the same thing, but we type a different number. So, yeah, we uh, must adjust it. Or quartiles two, we click num we yeah, click this one and then uh, this and then block the data, comma and number two. Yeah, enter. Yeah, next quartile three, same equal symbol, quartile. Opening brackets, block the data, comma, number three, closing brackets, and enter. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is the quartile one, quartile two, and quartile three from this data. Next, for uh, interquartile range, do the same thing uh, in quartiles, uh, I mean in range. So we calculate interquartile range in manual so equal symbol opening brackets and then block quartile three i mean this one yeah quartile three and then type minus symbol and then block quartile one and closing brackets and enter so yeah, so this is the the interquartile range. Next, variances. So okay, variances or variance. Okay, wait. Yeah, 
yeah, for variances, we use the formula the full symbol, and then we type V A R, and then opening brackets, and then block the data, and after that, uh, closing brackets, and enter. Yeah, so this is the variance of this data. Next, last but not least, uh, this is a standard deviation. Okay, so so for standard standard deviation, we use the formula equal symbol and then type as T D E V and then opening brackets and then block the data and then closing uh, brackets and enter. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, the result of standard deviation from this data. Okay, the last one for polygons, there are differences for all the data. For all this, mean, median, mode, range, quartile, and then in the quartile range, variance and some standard deviation. So uh, for polygons, we have to create a table with data or values, or in mathematics, we call X, and table frequency, or in mathematics, we call F. So uh, I want to make uh, the table and yeah. Type value and then yeah, like this and double frequency like this. Okay, wait. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. The bolt and then. <clears throat> okay, so yeah. I want, uh, I will skip this part. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, this is the table uh, for polygons. Okay, uh, so we made it. Uh, we block uh, the value. Wait, value and frequency. And then we go to insert this one and then click recommended chart yeah wait yeah and select uh, the top chart which is like this which is this one click okay yeah i'm already done so this is the chart or we call it polygon so wait we change the name first. So yeah. Yeah, so it's very easy, right? Yeah, already done. From the measures of central tendency, and then the measures of variability. So yeah, it's done. So guys, it's very easy and fast to calculate using the Microsoft Excel, right? Yeah, remember, the key is memorizing the Excel formula. So yeah, hopefully this tutorial can help you. Good luck trying by yourself. Thank you and see you.